In 128 cities in 17 countries last week, people gathered to remember transgendered victims of violence. This year alone, more than 160 transgendered people have been murdered, and that's just the people we know of. Because of a lack of understanding of gender identity issues, it's nearly impossible for organizations such as Transgender Europe to track down all actual cases of violence against trans people or to determine whether they are all hate crimes or not. But the brutality involved in many of the cases implies that, well, they are. Barack Obama recently signed into law the Matthew Shepard James Byrd Jr. Hate Crimes Prevention Act, which includes gender identity in its protection. Kalamazoo, Michigan, last election, passed a trans-inclusive law that bars discrimination in employment, housing, and public accommodation. But a National Employment Non-Discrimination Act is still lagging behind, and the hate crimes bill was too late for people like 21-year-old Tyelia Mack, stabbed in the streets of Washington, D.C., not far from the offices of Transgender Health Empowerment and Advocacy Organization. Paulina Ibarra, 24 years old, was stabbed to death in her Hollywood apartment not long ago. Too often, transgendered people only turn up in the media as victims like this of violence, misgendered and wrongly portrayed as gay or lesbian. Discussions of gender identity, like the one about South African runner Casta Semania, are dehumanizing often and offensive. Transgendered people, too, are too often thrown under the bus, as it were, in legislative compromises like the last round of debate over ENDA. Though the health care bill that passed the House mentions that gender identity can be a factor in people experiencing significant gaps in disease, health outcomes, or access to health care, that on its own will do little to ensure things improve. Toby Hillmeyer of the blog No Designation writes, quote, traditionally defined as a person who doesn't identify with the gender they were assigned at birth, I prefer to shift the focus away from assigned gender and define gender as a person whose gender is not universally considered valid. Well, haven't we all had moments where our very identity is called into question by another when someone assumes that they know better than we do who we are? It's important to remember those who've been victims of violence, but we also need to remember the lives of transgendered men and women and pay more attention, not only when another murder hits the headlines.